Hi, my name is Mrs. Jones. Welcome to my class. I currently have a year nine class. As you can see, they're all busy working. When they arrived in my room today, they had a starter on the board. This is the sort of thing that we do in maths. At the start of the lesson, we call it a warm up. It's a chance to get their maths brains working. This one is a nice one that we like to use where they can practice using their tables. There's a bit of negative numbers and a bit of algebra as well. Uh, I'm Mr. Adams, I teach maths in Coigre High. This is a teaching year nine class, set two. And what we're doing is, is actually showing you sort of some past paper questions, GCC questions, they actually sort of said to me that my stars are too easy. So now we're making them more relevant to what they're looking at. My name is Miss McGowan, I show the lovely year seven class looking at multiplying integers. We've looked at how to multiply using the grid method and some have chosen to multiply using the column method which they learned at primary school. Uh, the task clock they've got today is a procedural method which they just use to practice the skills that they've learnt. They are choosing between one star, two star or three star. We have to do like anything, so we have to do one star, two star or three star, it depends on our confidence. And it's like seven times five, like three times fourteen and like three hundred and twenty-five times fifteen and I decided to go for a three star so we're doing um, grid method. Hi, I'm Mr Chalkley, uh, Head of Maths at Peg Coitford High School. Um, today we've got Year 9, 9 Set 1, and they're doing a task mail-in about the Starship Enterprise and how far it would take to do a journey in space. Hi, I'm Ms Brown, a maths teacher here at Peg Coitford High. As well as Corp, mail-in and grid tasks, pupils also complete Spot the Mistakes activities. In these tasks, questions have been answered but include common mistakes or misconceptions for the pupils to find and correct. Pupils then develop their understanding of the topic and their literacy skills by providing written feedback which celebrates successes and offers advice and ways to improve the work. Yeah, I'm Mr Baker and I'm a maths teacher here at Pencoitra High School. I'm, I'm currently here with uh, 11 set 1 and we're working on a task uh, grid problem. They've been learning about areas of sectors and perimeter of sectors and then they're putting it all together into a real life problem, in this case uh, finding the area and per uh, perimeter of a sector to advertise uh, Pac-Man. So a task grid is where students bring all their skills together to solve a contextual problem and that's really useful then for the GCSE numeracy qualification.